Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will create a flow that takes items from orders lists. I've created three different forms here for ordering a table, ordering flowers, or ordering a computer. And I'll take those items and put them into a handling list so that people can handle all the different types of orders in one place, because that's usually what you want. Handling the task is quite different from ordering something. So I will create a flow to do that. So I'll go to flow, Microsoft.com, and I'll start a new flow. And I'm going to create that from blank. And it's going to be a SharePoint, of course, connector. We're doing SharePoint stuff here, SharePoint when a new item is created. That's the one we want to use. And let's see if we have any good suggestions here. It's loading, loading. But of course, this is the site we're going to be using. So let's just copy that URL if we have to type it in. But let's see. I'll just enter a custom value. Don't want to wait more for that. And there we go. It's loading the list names. I'll enter a custom value and do the computers. So when a new item is created in computers, we're going to create a new step. And then we're going to add an action for that also, of course. And that's another SharePoint one. So I'm going to create an item. And that's going to be in the same site. Great. Now we have the team site as an example there. And we're going to create a new item in the tasks list. So enter a custom value there. So after a few seconds, we get all the, the columns that we can fill out of the um, new task item here that was being created. So we'll start with the title. And as you see, we get dynamic content. And that's the content from the item that we created. So let's zoom out a bit here so we can see better. Because we we'll see more at least. Uh, there's a see more here that lets you see all of the columns that are available. So let's build up the title. And this is, of course, a new computer that we're working on new computer, and actually let's use the type of computer there instead of just computer. New type of computer, and then space for, and it's the user of the computer that we have, user, user uh, name, display name, that's the one we want. And then we'll build up the description there. And uh, here we are going to do the same thing again, really. So computer type, and this is HTML. So we're going to add some breaks in here. Computer type, there we go. Type of computer value there. And then for the break, we'll enter just the HTML for that there. And of course, I pressed enter to get a um, no, new row in the description field, but that doesn't give us the task with row breaks. It just gives us more space in the editor. So the user, and we'll get the user name, user display name, like that, and a space, and then user email, like that. And again, we'll do the break in HTML code. And finally, we have a comment there. Let's add that also. All right, so we're done. So now I will test this. I'll save it first, then I can test it, of course. It's being saved, and now I'm testing. And I'll perform the trigger action. And of course, the trigger action is to create a new item in the computers list. Save and test. So now it's waiting for me to create that action. There we go. I'll create that computer. So now I'll order a new tablet computer. And that would be for Maria. Maria Anders, she'll have that tablet. And it should be. Uh, Pro version. Run history now. See your plan. Uh, your flow ran successfully. When a new item was created, it created an item. So let's check that out if it actually worked as it's supposed to. Let's go into handling. New computer tablet for Maria Anders. Right. We need a space there, of course. Let's just check that. We'll edit that first. I missed the space there. Let's make sure we have that. We actually don't need the word computer because we have the tablet word instead in this case. So, yes, there's a space there. Good. All right, let's check this. Open this up. And there we have computer type tablets, user Maria Anders, 
and the comment, all that in the task. All right, so we've done a flow that creates a task from an order form. So we'll save that now, back. Yes, okay, we've saved it, so that's fine. Actually, let's go ahead and edit it. I'll put the description here, new computer order. And of course, we'll save that before leaving. All right, there we go. And now, as you see, this is enabled and it has a connection and all is good. So now I go back to see my flows. It was modified seven seconds ago and it's enabled. So now that should just continue working. So now the next thing is that we want to do exactly the same thing for my flowers and my tables. And to make this a bit quicker, I will export this now as a package, zip package. Of course, this is a very simple flow now, but if, if the flow had been more complicated, that would save more time, of course. Right, so we'll export that. I'll save that. Um, yeah, that's, it's in downloads now, so we can just pick that up later. Now, to create a new workflow for the flowers, I'll go to my flows again. I will import the same thing again. When I did, to save maybe a few clicks at least, I'll upload. And that's the new computer one here. Let's do that one. It's uploading my package. I'm not going to navigate away. And I'm going to edit that. Create as new. That's what I'm going to do, of course. And it's going to be new flowers order. And the action here is, of course, I'm going to be using the existing SharePoint connection. And I'm going to import that. Now I just have to modify a few details on that. So let's go to my flows here. And there's the new flowers order, uh, which was uh, modified 20 seconds ago. Now, of course, I want to modify that so that it works against and list an item in the flowers list instead. So we'll modify the list name that it works on, picks up flowers. And then we'll modify the create item, show advanced options there. And we will just simply remove these things and start over. That's the simplest thing to do. Flowers for, and then we have the recipient, recipient name, and then we build the whole description again here. Type of bouquet, like that. Let's see, got the spelling right there. Type of bouquet, value, of course, that's what we want. And then we want the uh, break there also. And then we want the recipient name. And we want the phone number also. But let's type that out also. And we don't have any further comments regarding the, the flower order. So that's done. So now we'll save that. And let's go back to our list here. And let's go home and create a new flower order. And we'll get an extra large type of bouquet. And the recipient is Calecula. And the phone number is like that. All right, so let's save that now. And let's see if we get a flow. We've already saved this. So my Back to my flows, see new flowers orders, and click in on that one. We'll see in the run history that there's no runs yet, so we'll go in and see all. And now it shows all runs, but it will see uh, checks for new data also. And you see it's, it's three minutes ago. Uh, so this actually happens once every five minutes. So usually when you get a new item created, it should be in two minutes. So let's take a pause and we'll wait again for two minutes. Actually, let's do the other one. Let's do the third one here. So I'll go into my flows again and import from from template again and do the tables this time. So I'll pick that new computer again and this time I am going to call it, of course, tables because that's the third thing we're ordering. I'll update the name of it and create as new new table order, save, and then um, the connection. Yeah, we'll just use that one. 
save that one and import all that. All right, so we have that imported. Let's look at my flows. And here is the third one now. And of course, for the table order, I will go in and edit the details, but we've already seen that. Let's just check that the new flowers order did and did run. It did not run yet, so let's see all. Checks, no new data. So there was one that ran 53 seconds ago. Hmm. Let's try it again and create new flowers here. Test and just numbers and save. Go back to the run history. There we go. Now it had ran. There was some kind of delay in the subscription there, but then we have a success. It ran successfully three seconds ago. So sometimes you need to be a bit patient with the flows. So let's just check that we got that in the handling also. There you go, flowers for test that got created now. So that concludes my demo and we now have two flows that we have tested and that works. But now we just need to fiddle with the third one. I won't bore you with that one. There you have the principle. Thank you for watching.